Okay, so Casey is joining me from Sydney, Australia, and she's here with me to discuss something that we're quite, both of us are quite passionate about, and to be honest, quite concerned at the same time, and that is yachting stereotypes, and in particular, I guess most of you are aware that when you submit a CV, you're required to put a photo on your CV. And Casey has worked in yachting overseas for a year and a half and 18 months in Australia on a yacht. And we're going to talk to her today about her experience in the industry and the stereotypes associated with yachting. So over to you, Casey. Yeah, um, so when I first got into yachting and the whole, um, you know, the whole kind of reason of putting a photo uh, on your CV to me was um, quite daunting. Um, it was something out of, the, out of the ordinary, I must be honest, because I worked in an office job um, before I found yachting for 10 years. One solid job, that was it. So I only literally had to do my resume um, once and send it out to someone. And there was no word of it having to have a photo on there. It was literally based on your experience and that is how you got a job. So people would look at your CV and say, okay, this is you know the qualifications that you have. This is where you went to school. This is where you've studied. Uh, and this is where you may have worked part time. So, um, and then when you meet someone face to face, that was their, their first impression of you. And that was how I thought of, you know, being, getting a job was your first impression made it count. Not having to have a, a photo on your CV, um, which then could, they could get one look at you um, just with your face or a full body shot and it'd be thrown out the window without even looking at all the qualifications and experience and even talking to your references um, because I feel like a reference from someone um, should be taken more so with what, what someone looks like, what their body type is or what their hair colour is or um, anything else that people want to, you know, criticise you for having or looking like in the yachting industry. So, yeah, it was, it was really daunting um, and just... Um, I find it really kind of front on for, for, you know, you to walk into a career agency and for them to even meet you. And that's, that, that also as well is just really frustrating for me because it's, um, I find that when you, you're meeting someone um, for, for a job that you've got um, and their first impression, not even having a look at, you know, a little photo on a piece of paper should matter. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like it should be based on your experience and references that they should make their first, mm -hmm. um, you know, dibs if they want to offer you a position or even a trial period. So did you feel um, some judgments coming from those recruitment agencies when you were walking in there and having interviews? Yeah, of some people. Yeah, definitely. Um, some were absolutely amazing. And yeah, some it was kind of like, you know, they've, they've spoken to you by email or on the phone or that you may have just had like a headshot on a photo and then when you get there, it's like, you know, they're off put by, you know, um, what, what size you are or, you know, how, how short or how tall you may, may seem. So, yeah, it, it is. It's, um, it's very, you know, confrontational. Mm. And at the end of the day, this is actually discrimination that we're talking about. And it's not only with what you look like or your height, but it's age. And I had a crew member tell me the other day that, and she's actually 50 years old, and she walked into the recruitment agency and they said, you're wasting your time, you're too old for the industry. Wow. Um, she's actually got a job in the south of France since, and she scored 99% for her um, exam in New Zealand in Nelson. And she has worked in the Navy. She has worked um, at Christchurch um, with the rescue, with the earthquake. Um, she's just a phenomenal woman and she has so much kindness and so much to offer that it would just be a huge disadvantage if she wasn't tired. That's um, amazing, well done. Yeah, and she even got um, some of the um, students from the course at the time onto her boats as well. So she got them jobs too. It's just <laughs> amazing. But yeah, unfortunately, 
there is a lot of discrimination in the industry and I think that the industry is losing out big time on quality crew because I know how hard it is to find quality crew. So I think they really need to take a hard look at themselves and realize what they're actually missing out on. Yeah, I totally, totally, totally agree. I, I know that I've probably missed out on, you know, quite a few jobs that um, it was based on, you know, how tall I was or, you know, my breast size or the colour of my hair, the colour of my eyes or, you know, the, the size of my waist. Mm. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not a size two and, you know, you go to some some yachts and stuff like that and the size uniform that they have is nowhere close to what I would mm. I would be able to fit into. It's like they don't stock them or yeah. something. And which is really strange to me because yeah, I um I I have so much to offer. So and I now realise they missed out. So um and that that is um, you have to have that strong mindset. And at the time I didn't, I was kind of like, you know, it was like a why me, why me? Um, but now that I look back because of such a good spot that I am in right now and I'm like it was their loss and it is a shame that the industry is like that um, because there are so many amazing um, talented crew out there um, that are being disadvantaged by this whole concept of it's a it's an Im image um, industry and yeah that that's really disheartening to a lot of people so mm -hmm. So from your experience, to close off, what advice could you give to others who are potentially experiencing the same thing that you went through? My advice to you is be yourself. Be proud of who you are. Um, don't let anyone, you know, um, make you feel like you are worth nothing or you are not deserving of the job. There are so many boats out there and there are other boats that um, are going to be worth your time and are going to get more value out of your um, your dedication and your drive to the job so keep on going keep on looking for that job trust your gut instinct that is a very powerful thing um, if you if you show up for an interview and something feels off it's not right it's not right for you there'll be a next one like there's always a next boat and there's always something better out there and the right fit for you will feel right for you so don't give up. <laughs> Honestly, don't give up. There was times when I felt, um, yes, yeah, so much at the bottom of the ladder, but you just need to pick yourself up and just keep going. Keep, keep calling crew agents, keep checking in, um, keep checking all the Facebook posts, um, you know, interact with people, at, you know, crew events and stuff like that. Um, really hold your head high and yeah, just believe in yourself that you are worthy of um, that next position that comes up. Thanks, Casey. I couldn't have said it better. <laughs> Pleasure. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you for your time. <laughs>